Hello, it's Hair Garu Sam here to give you the tea on great hairstyles. Ew. <laughs> For real though, I am gonna teach you a few different hairstyles you can do when you're starting out looking like Hermione Granger and don't have a lot of time on your way to work. I'm gonna be updos because if you're like me and you don't have time to heat style your hair with a straightener or a curler or anything, your hair is a frizzy mess. I had time to blow dry it this morning, but normally I don't. It's all wavy. So I'm gonna pretend like my hair is the wavy mess it always is when I first wake up without heat styling. So here we go. The first hairstyle, I get a deep part close to the outer part of your eyebrow. Kind of cut back from there. Give about an inch and a half section and just put the rest of your hair behind you. So you have that sectioned off. Okay, you don't want to keep it too perfect because it'll look better if it's not perfect. If you're bad at French braids but still want to have a little zhuzh in the front, something interesting to look at then this will be a great hairstyle for you because it's a lot easier than a French braid and it's easy to learn. So what you're gonna do is take your section right here and divide it into two. Okay, the section, you have one in the front and one in the back from what you sectioned off earlier. Remember the rest of your hair is behind your shoulders if it cooperates. Twist the front piece behind the back piece and drop this. Gather with your thumb, more hair here, and then twist this behind the piece you just did. And then you drop it, gather more hair, twist it back, gather more hair, and twist it back. Try not to get it too tight. If you want it more intricate and like smaller sections, you can do smaller pieces as you go along as opposed to like bigger chunks. It's okay if some of the hair from what we left behind gets in this. Just try to keep the hair close to your scalp as you get near your ear. And where I'm gonna stop is right by my ear. And then just twist the rest loosely. See what we have here? twist it up into a little bun. We're not gonna leave it like this unless you want to. I'm just doing this to secure it while we do the other side. You don't have to do the other side, but I wanna give you the option because one side's gonna be easier than the other. You just do the same thing with the other side. The hair like that. twist it just to keep it in place. And then what you can do is take this side out, hold it at the base where you stopped so it doesn't come undone. Because it is a twist, it's not a braid, so it's, it can more easily come undone. And you're gonna gather the rest of your hair from back here, get rid of the part in your hair so it's more sleek, and tie it as far up as you can without getting lots of bumps, but it's still gonna be kind of a low bun. What I like to do here, you can either leave it as is, if you like your ponytail, or you can put it into a braided bun, because I think that looks really elegant, and it's great for work. And if you're going out, it's a great hairstyle too, because your hair's out of your face, but still has some pizzazz. So we got most of our braid. We're just gonna twist it up. My hair has layers, so it's kind of hard to get all in there, but I'm just gonna secure it with elastics or bobby pins. And it feels pretty secure to my head. Okay, so we have this side. It sort of fell out a little bit, but that's okay. I saw it twisting back a little bit. Here's it from the side. All right, that one's done. The second hairstyle I'm gonna do is also, also has a braid, but it's gonna be a fishtail braid. 
so you don't have to have any French braiding skills to do this. So the next hairstyle we're gonna do also starts in a side part. You're gonna take a larger section of hair from the front, like three inches or so. Make sure you have a thick enough piece of hair because this is gonna be like your statement piece. We're gonna bring it around sort of like that. So to do a fishtail braid, all you have to do is divide your hair into two sections. Take a smaller piece from the outside of one section and bring it to the inner section of the other side. Like that. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Take a smaller section on the outside of this section and bring it to the inside of this half. So we're just gonna finish the braid. If you find your braid getting thicker on one side than the other, just take a larger chunk from that side and bring it to the other section. Then it'll balance out. Okay, that's all I wanna do. So now what we're gonna do is bring some hair forward a little bit and then take one of your ponytails and put a low in your hair, like down here. Then you're gonna make a split in your hair and put your three fingers through from the back and pull your ponytail through that like so and then tighten. Just like that. And then what we're gonna do with the remainder of your hair, so another elastic a few inches down, make sure it's tight so it stays in. Give enough space for you to create another loop and pull that through and you end up with this braided look. If you want these to come together, just take a bobby pin and take the little tiny piece of two sections. Take your bobby pin. Okay, we're just going straight down with the bobby pins. Hmm. No, we're not. Okay, we're going into ponytail. So there's the look. Look number two. The last hairstyle is gonna help you get some of your baby hairs out of your face. So you're gonna take the crown section of your hair, tie it into elastic. Take another section of hair right above your ears, bring it up to that elastic, tie it around. You can leave it like this, which would be really cute. Or you can take the bottom section and raise it to infinity and beyond to meet the top section and give yourself a super high ponytail I've got a super high ponytail, and if you don't like the frizzy giant ponytail you're left with, if you're anything like me, just take your hair, put it into a braid, you got yourself a high braided bun. Here you go. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below which hairstyle you like best and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'd love to see you in the next video. Bye.